everyone, welcome back. I have another sticker video today. I was sent some holographic sticker paper to try out, so I'm gonna do that today. It looks like this. They had a couple variations, so they sent me this one. It has uh, kind of like a star pattern behind it, a bunch of different kinds of stars, and obviously kind of that holographic finish. And it is also very glossy. Um, so I did film this video back in November, the portion where I'm actually making the stickers. So I made some Christmas stickers for my packaging. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to use holographic glossy paper with the Cricut. If you've tried printing glossy stickers using the Cricut, then you know the struggle of the sensor. So I tried a lot of different things and in the end I did get it to work, but it was a, a long process. I wouldn't suggest this for beginners. However, if you have the patience to try this with the Cricut, I would suggest it. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that, but these stickers are a print and then cut, not just cutting them out into shapes, but printing straight on the holographic and then cutting it out. I did try color printing on the holographic as well as just black. And I'd say the black is my favorite. This is what one of the stickers I made looks like. It looks really cool because the black is really opaque. The difference between the black and the color is that the color kind of goes on with a bit of opacity, probably like a 50 or 60% opacity, which still has a really cool look to it. But again, the Cricut is very, very sensitive when it comes to a glossy or shiny surface. So I'll show you how I figured it out um, and what it turned out like when I printed and cut using the Cricut. Okay, so first things first, I have uploaded my PNG file to Cricut and I am going to make it. I skipped the part where I uploaded it and then made it a print and cut. I've done that in other videos so you can go see that. I make sure to always click on use system dialog. That way I can change the settings from my printer from my system settings because you want to change it to photo and then I do best quality. This will make sure that it prints on the glossy paper really nice. But again, all that in detail in another video. I'll make sure to link that in the description and up above. So I'm using this Canon printer, the MG7720. It is no longer sold, but I'll link one similar. It's basically a photo printer. So it does a pretty good quality on these glossy stickers. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to skip to when this is printed and then I'm going to put it in the Cricut. Okay, so now that it's printed, I've put it into the Cricut and this is basically what's happening um, on the Cricut software side. It's scanning and scanning and scanning and of course it fails. And yes, I know the glossy paper sticker hack thing where you use scotch tape around the the scan line, the black line. I did do that here, but I think the hollow stars were just too much for it to handle. So the next thing I tried was actually putting tape on the laser itself. So I tried that first or next by having just the tape on the laser and then I didn't tape the black registration line and that didn't work either. So at this point, I'm getting kind of desperate. I'm Googling tricks. This one was a weird one. I um, printed out the registration mark and on plain paper and then taped that on. And it did work, but honestly, it's just way more effort than it's worth. So even though it worked, like I wouldn't do it again. It's just too much work. So the next thing, uh, I just flashed that because it was now quarter to five. So the sun was going down. So this pass that's going in here now is just tape on the sensor and it worked this time assuming because it wasn't bright out so then i thought yay i'm on a roll let's keep doing this with this other design so i did and surprise it didn't work so it kind of just felt like at this point it was just luck if it worked or not because i tried it and then didn't work and then i tried it and then it did work so on this last attempt, I put scotch tape on the hollow paper and scotch tape on the laser as well, or not the laser, sorry, the sensor is <laughs> not a laser cutter. 
Uh, so where that light is shining out on the Cricut, there is a piece of tape covering that light. And then, of course, also the light, sorry, the tape around the black line. And I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but it is dark outside. And yes, I did try closing the cover multiple times. I was working on this for hours. As you can see, it started out at the morning and then ended at night. Um, but this this seemed to work and that was exciting. But it was the end of the day, so I didn't feel like printing any more. So I left this for a few days and then came back at a morning time where the light was different and wanted to try what I tried here with a different lighting scenario. And I'm happy to report that it worked the second time when I used the tape on the sensor and the tape around the black line and it was much brighter as it was morning times. So there was overhead light, but it still worked. So if you're going to try this yourself, definitely put a little piece of tape under the sensor. It's a little bit tricky to do. There are some tutorials online. That's how I kind of figured out a way, but it's still kind of tough. And then make sure to put that same matte scotch tape around the registration line and you should be fine if it doesn't work still. I recommend trying to close your lid or moving to a place that has a little bit more even lighting. As I mentioned, I actually made these in November to add to my packages for Christmas time. So this is me uh, packaging up one of my ornaments. I make these iridescent laser cut acrylic snake and bat ornaments that are really cute. So this is uh, my packaging and I'm just going to throw on this sticker on the back and it suits the ornament quite well because they're both that kind of hollow look. So that's the end of the video. I hope that was helpful. Again, I think they're really cool, but it does take patience using the Cricut machine. And they're also water resistant. So if you stuck this on something that might get wet, like a tumbler, it would work the same as the glossy stickers. You just have to make sure that you use a photo setting when you're printing so that it prints properly on this glossy paper and it won't rub off. I'll make sure to link all of these products below. The company who sent them to me also gave me a discount code, so I'll put that down there as well. If you have any questions or if there's something you want me to try with this paper or anything else, just let me know. I'm happy to do so, and I'll see you next time.